up guys welcome back today i'm showing you how i went all led on all my bulbs all my lights were replaced with led bulbs it took me a while but i'm showing you the uh, steps that i took to get every one of those bulbs uh changed as you might know harley's different models have different connectors black keep the toyota Review about the Chote. Switching over to the 787. As you may know, Harley Davidson has, for every model, pretty much a different connecting base, a different functionality of their light. Some have uh, two lights in the back that serve as signal lights, brake lights, and running lights. My Electro Glide uh, standard has three lights. The middle one, the tail light right there serves as uh, the running light and brake light and the two small lights on the side only serve as a uh, signal light look at the road glide it looks the same uh back rear uh, tail lights as the electric glide this part i mean but functionality is totally different he has his running lights uh, lit both of them the whole time while in mine the run the running lights yeah, look at that. His running lights are uh, on all the time. When he hits the brakes, both light up. With the Electra Glide standard, the running light is the main one. And hitting the brake flashes it uh, even uh, bright. And these two lights serve only as signal lights. So although that unit, that piece looks the same, functionality is different. So you really have to do some research and figure out what bulb it is, what functionality it is, and what base you need to get it right. I went through a lot of bulbs, a lot of options, and I finally got it right. So I'll be putting it down by the description and on, on the video itself, the names of the bulbs and links so you can get it for your, uh, for your application. Hope this uh, will help you out because it took me a while, back and forth with Amazon a few times, sending back bulbs that weren't uh, fitting properly. So hope you get this right, hope this helps you, and let's jump in and enjoy. Quick upgrade today. Back, braking light, LED. Gonna uh, show you a video before and after. What's nice about these LEDs uh, is that they uh, are way, way brighter. And bright, bright red uh, stop lights. Gonna do the install now. I bought them for, uh, from Amazon for like, I don't know, $19. So this is 24 hours later. I took the plastic cover out and to my surprise, I found exactly the wrong uh, bulb that I uh, ordered. You know, Harley does all, all models have different uh, light fixtures and connect, uh, you know, connecting uh, ports over here. So. I, I bought the wrong part and this is the actual uh, light bulb that I was uh, that I needed to order with this strange connector so I'll just put over here the right uh, connecting uh, number I forgot what it's called what base it is I ordered uh, on Amazon and I got for uh, I think 10 or 20 dollars 10 of these a set of 10 of these which are pretty much the same connecting base you see, as I just showed you before with uh, the original uh, light bulb, but it has an LED element. And just simple plug and play. Plug it right into here. It fits and it works properly. I checked it out, I'm tell you. Will it go in? Don't worry. Okay, to help me, I got my uh, lovely daughter. So wait, don't click, don't click anything. How about that, huh? Thank you, helper. So I'll check it out at night and uh, try to see the difference as well. So that's it. Easy, easy, simple. <laughs> easy, simple after you get it right. It's an easy, simple once you get the part right. Cheap and you get increased safety with this like strong LED. Yeah, so as I've said, each Harley has its own uh, light setup. In my case, the 2020 Electro Glide standard, these two 
bulbs serve only as turn signals. As you can see, they're not running lights. The running light is the center. These only serve as signal lights. Importantly, the light bulb, the original light bulb looks like this. Try to get a zoom on it. It's got just one connecting point at the top. As you can see, these two dimples, these two latches are located exactly one opposite the other. And there's only one light element in the middle. This uh, bulb is uh, called one, 1156, 1156 base, connecting base. And accordingly, I got on Amazon this uh, LED uh, replacement. And as you can see, it has the 1156 uh, base, connecting base. That's what I'm gonna use and try it uh, right here. That pretty much means it's either on or off an LED element, nice and bright should be. And as you can see, the same connecting uh, base. And it doesn't fit. <laughs> this is not the first time it happened to me. This light bulb actually is fitting properly 1156, but the diameter over here is too wide. And it's it's pretty much hitting, hitting the base inside and it will not let me push it any further so I can twist it. As opposed, see as opposed to this light where it's tapered, closer to the base this is just too wide over here so i guess i'll have to send it back to amazon again this is the second time it's happening to me and i think as well this would probably even if it did fit it would be sticking out too much it's too long as you can see is longer is longer than the original bulb and it's possible that this plastic lens won't fit in so it's going back to Amazon. Thank God they have a great return policy. Next day, new light. Just got this from Amazon. Gonna make another attempt with the 1156. This time I got it in uh, red LED. I want it red because I'm gonna go uh, change these plastics to uh, smoke, gray smoke. So the base connector style is 1156. And this time I made sure I got a way, way smaller uh, bulb so it will actually physically fit in and it aggressively popped out <laughs> this looks really promising yeah it fits there we go nice and bright it's red you can't really see it from here right now and you can see definitely that this one is flashing faster LED, they flash faster. So as you can see, even with the red uh, lens, it is way, way brighter than the left side. See, for example, my front signal lights. This base connector has these two dimples, which are one is at one point, the other one is a little bit lower. If you can see, they're not parallel to each other and they have two connecting points in the bottom because they are uh, double functions. Inside, there are two wires, one for each function. So one is the actual running light uh, that is on the whole time. And once you hit the signal light, the other light starts blinking. So you gotta make sure you know exactly what the functionality of your light is and what uh, replacement LED you're gonna get. In my case, with the Electro Glide standard, and I think it's also the same with uh, the Street Glide, I used a uh, standard, I got a kit, I actually put out a video about it, how I uh, changed uh, the whole uh, signal light. And the halo, white halo is one, the running light is one function. And once you hit the signal light, the internal LEDs blink orange. That is the, the double functionality that uh, 
that came from the same as this light. Here, you'd have one light as a running light, and the other one, once you hit the signal light, it would uh, shine even brighter. New day, another light. Just got to try and figure out the uh, headlight LED replacement. So as you can see, the stock, uh, this is brand new. It's 2020 Electric Glide Standard. And what's uh, special and unique to this light, and I think it's also, I'm not sure, but uh, might be also uh, with the Street Glide. My, my the best tip the best tip I can give you is actually to go ahead and open up open up the light see what you have over there and then you can figure out what connecting uh, base you have and what functionality you have did a lot of research you can go ahead and buy a whole replacement uh, enclosed replacement of LED for three four five hundred dollars which is fine but I said, what the heck? I just got this brand new motorcycle. The reflector is new. The design is great. The glass, or the actually in this case, the plastic is nice and clear. Why should I spend three, $400? Or even you can go on, on uh, Amazon and find a Chinese uh, 70, 80, $90 one, uh, which would do the purpose, would serve the purpose as well. But I said, you know what? Let's keep the original uh, Harley Davidson design but simply uh, replace the the light bulbs so went ahead and found the exact light bulb for this case in this case we have one light bulb that uh, does the running lights the low beam actually it's this one the low beam and another single function same same uh, light bulb that does the high beam so it's two bulbs that do only one function only they're they're on or off and I'm gonna replace them right now and see how it looks. This is quite easy, an easy process. All you need is a Phillips screwdriver. You've seen it probably a million times in other videos, but in just you have, if in case you haven't, right here on the bottom at the six o'clock, unscrew and just remove the outer 90 degrees twist to the right clockwise and it's out and it just comes directly out. Then you have three bolts i mean three phillips screws right here one the phillips screws don't get confused with the torx two and three these screws came out move it and then this whole element comes out those are the bulbs are going to be changing right now and keeping this whole assembly just unplugged unplugged these two and of course I marked it as usual, the top one, which is the running light. So I know to connect it to the running light. Here it's the top one. Now these lights, light bulbs have a certain connection. They're a connection uh, number. I'll uh, put it right here so you can see it right now. And I'll show you what I got instead. A lot of research. This is a set I picked up on Amazon. I'll put a link down by the description and also put it over here on the screen. Uh, it was not cheap, but it was cheaper than uh, getting the full, uh, you know, kit, the whole, getting the whole light bulb assembly changed. Uh, nicely packed. One is going to be for the uh, low beams, one is for the high beams. So I'm going to, and as you can see, it's probably, it has the same connecting uh, base as this. So let's check it out. As you can see, you know, as you know, LEDs really heat up. And you need to, some way to dissipate all that heat. So these come with like a fins, radiator fins, and there's a fan inside. Really quiet and fast fan, pulling the air out and uh, cooling this element. There is a connecting point over here with this, I don't know what it is, but that's the connecting point. And right here, that's finally what's gonna replace this guy right there. So these two are the same. So actually to connect these, you can see there's only one way you can fit. Uh, there's a little hole over here, right there. And there's a little, uh, on the other side, there's a little pin that sticks out and the only way it fits in. So you can't get it wrong. That that pin goes into that little hole and that is the correct, uh, the right, positioning 
And once it's in, you screw a little plastic cover. I'll show you. See, it's, it's connected in properly. It's sitting flush. And just this plastic tightens it, uh, tightens that connection. Tighten this one. Pardon my uh, YouTubing skills over here. I'm working with one hand, but this spins and finally tightens fully. Completely. This goes in to the base. I guess some kind of a electronic device to control, I don't know, the frequency, the, the resistance, whatever. And this is the plug that goes eventually into this end. So now let's uh, slide these puppies back into the base, switch them, swap them with the original OEM ones and see what it looks like. So guys, these are the bulbs that I just replaced. Standard OEM that come with the Electra Glide standard and the Street Glide. The new LEDs and we have to take care of all this cable to tuck it in nicely. Let's connect the, uh, the bike connectors with uh, the new LED connectors accordingly. Okay, connected them one and the other one. And now let's test it out before I close it up. And, and don't ask me why, I have no clue why it's not working. What a disappointment guys, what a disappointment. I ran home, got this little manual, a pamphlet, a printout that came with the LEDs and there's a phone number over there. They're based in Florida. I called him up. The nicest guy named Ed walked me through the whole process. Apparently I flipped uh, one of the connections 180 degrees. So just flip both of them, each one of them 180 degrees and look now. Look at that. That is the running light. And now for the high beam. That's the high beam. <laughs> it's just blinding. So if you come into any kind of amazing, I can only say good things about them and they solve the problem. I was, I was scared after hunting for ages for the proper LED. So I finally got it. Wow, what a guy. I just got over the phone. I just got off the phone with him again, thanking him for the help and telling him that I'm going to put his link down by description. And he was like so... Uh, he's grateful and he's such a nice guy. Hopefully you won't be needing, uh, you know, support, but if you do need, he's there. And by the way, this is not, uh, sponsored by anyone. So it's just my experience, my install, enjoy it. I'm going to show you what it looks like in just a second. I'm going to wrap it up. I'm going to close up the fairing and shoot that light right here and compare it to what we saw before. Low beam and the high beam. Low beam, high beam. Low beam, and the high beam. Low beam, high beam. But maybe if you look closer, you can see that. You see how it's brownish orange as opposed to the LED white of uh, tungsten, I mean, light. Now let's do a little walk around with all the lights that I have upgraded.
<laughs> they might not be That's about it, guys. I think it sums it up. I got all the lights replaced with LEDs, affordable, cheap, not cheap, affordable, a good alternative. I got it on Amazon, most of the stuff without breaking the bank and it does the job. If you enjoyed this video, I'd appreciate it. If you give me a thumbs up, you like my videos, like this video, want to see more of my videos, do me a favor. If you're not subscribed to the channel, go ahead and hit that red subscribe uh, uh, button and make sure you hit that bell notifications so you get notifications every time i put out a new video hope you enjoy this thank you so much for watching i am sandy peace out